Hello gardening friends, welcome to Backyard Basics. I'm John Dromkul. You know one of the most popular things these days in container gardening, there's succulents and cacti. Really popular. A lot of young folks are looking at their first gardens and they go and they plant some of these things. Well, containers are the first thing to be thinking about. Here's a nice modern um, metal container right here. Lots of folks are using this style in their gardens and so this is a good option. It's rather deep though. So you gotta be careful what kind of cactus you put in there. I think the larger ones are best because you won't overwater that way. There's these clay ones, they sweat nicely, and so they're not gonna stay wet for very long. They're beautiful little containers. And then here's another one, a little bit bigger. You know they're kinda of short, and that means that you won't overwater. If it was real deep, there might tend to overwater in them. So make sure that you use some smaller ones. You know it's very hard to handle some of these guys, and um, you'll be trying to reach into a container or where you buy them and uh, touch, pick them up without touching them. Look, you can buy these things, they're not expensive. expensive. They're little forceps. You grab the container like that, you can move it anywhere you want to, put it in there, move any of them around that way, and that's the good way to handle them. You know, another way to handle cactus is to take something like the Chronicle, for example, and roll it up, get several pages, and then roll it up, and you can handle these big ones this way without getting thorns in yourself. And you can see that this is a good way to handle them, and it doesn't break the thorns either. So small ones or larger ones doesn't make any difference. You don't want to spend the day with your credit card trying to get the thorns out of there. You know, that works very well, too. So. Look at the assortment of them. These are living stones right here. These are really cute. And when you put some rocks around them, they kind of disappear. And I like to use rocks as a, a mulch of sorts around them. So um, this is a good thing to do. These little guys, you really got to watch them. It's easy to overwater them, but they're a great collector item. And um, we have some soil mixes. As important as anything is a good soil mix. You want something that drains well. I use some granite sand and some larger pieces of granite. I use a little bit of shale in there. And so you get this nice sandy well draining mix. This is very important. You can also buy minerals. Some folks grow just in the minerals and they do very well. But no nitrogen, no phosphorus, no potassium type fertilizers. It's just causing them to grow in a way that they wouldn't normally grow. So you have choices. You have many choices. This is a golden barrel right here. A beautiful little plant. There's some that would go in a hanging basket. The rat tail right there. And of of course, this is what those arrangements look like, and they're just beautiful. Whether you grow it for yourself or as a gift, when you're going over to someone's house, it's nice to take a little gift with you, and you'll have exactly what you need. So, this is what's happening today. Succulents and cacti in beautiful little gardens, and if you're a new gardener, don't water them too much, and they'll be beautiful in your home landscape, or in your apartment, or in your condominium. For Backyard Basics, I'm John Dromgul. I'll see you next time.